Hello everyone, what's up? It is Shreya, of course, and today we're showing you guys how to install the Computer Craft mod for Minecraft version 1.4.2 and above. That means it should work for future versions to come. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to open the link in the description, and it'll be brought to the Computer Craft Minecraft forum page. Um, basically what we have to do here is we just scroll down and we have to find their download section. Which is right here, where it says download, then current version. So download whatever your current version is. In my case, it is 1.46 for Minecraft 1.4.2. Again, it shouldn't matter what version you have. The tutorial should work the same no matter what. Um, so yeah, just go and click the add file link here. And then you'll have to wait five seconds. Of course, if you support the mod, then just wait the five seconds. It's worth it. Um, so yeah, go ahead and skip add now. It'll be redirected, and it'll download. And there we go. So now, I highly recommend saving everything you download from this tutorial to your desktop. It'll make that tutorial far more easier for you, and it'll be make it way faster. So now we need to go back to the Computer Craft forum page again. Just go and scroll down. We need to go back to the download section. And what it's going to say is it's going to say um, down here where it says install, right here in this little section. It'll tell you that you need Minecraft Forge version 332 or above. So that means you need to get that version or above. Um, it also provides you a link right here. So just go and click this little Minecraft Forge link. And then it'll take a little bit of time, but there we go. Pop, and there we go. Now, right here, um, this is a little confusing sometimes. Just, just go ahead and click up here. It says releases. Right here, I'll highlight it. Right right there. Just go ahead and click that. It'll bring you back one step. And then right here, you'll see all the Minecraft versions. Um, download the version it says, or a newer version. So in my case, it's uh, Forge 6.0.1. So go ahead and click that. And then all of the links are actually set up the same way. So basically what you need to do is in your little link that you clicked, or in my case, 6.0.1, I'm going to find the universal section, which is right here, and then I'm going to click the add file section. Of course, you can click the direct link section if you don't want to wait five seconds of your life, but I can think I can fork it over for now. Um, so go ahead and skip the add. And again, it's automatically going to save to wherever you save it to. Um, I highly suggest, again, saving it to your desktop. It'll make the tutorial easier for yourself. So now all we need to do is just close this. And now we have the two files on our desktop. What you should have is Computer Craft and then Minecraft Forge. Um, so what we need to do with these is we need to go down here in the bottom left and type percent app data percent and then click enter. You'll be brought to your roaming folder and inside the roaming folder you'll see a folder called dot minecraft. Open dot minecraft up and inside here we're going to create a new folder. So new folder and we're going to name it mods. Click enter. And inside the mods folder, we're going to open it up, and then you should have downloaded the Computer Craft whatever version. Um, if you open it up, you will see there's a bunch of weird files here. Um, basically, all you have to do is take the Computer Craft um, folder we downloaded, or file, and just drag it into our mods folder. Um, pretty simple, straightforward, that's all you need to do. Um, so go back to your .minecraft and go into the bin folder. Inside here, you'll see a file called minecraft.jar, or minecraft executable jar file. Click that and right-click, open with... Renoir. And inside here, you'll see a folder called meta-inf. You need to click that and right-click it and delete files. Click yes. And if you fail to delete it, um, I always see this in every one of my tutorials, you'll end up getting a black screen or you'll get stuck at the end of a loading screen. If you don't delete the meta-inf, that's what's going to happen. You'll have to force update your Minecraft. With that said, we need to open up the Minecraft Forge that we downloaded. Um, in my case, I saved it as a desktop, so just open it up. And we need to get everything in here, so right-click, select all, and drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar. So like that, click OK, go and close your Minecraft.jar, and close Minecraft Forge Universal. Go ahead and close this link, you don't need this anymore. And I'm just going to open up Minecraft to show you guys that everything's working like it normally does. Uh, show you guys that I didn't need a black screen. This is actually the first time I've installed it, because um, I'm very confident that it'll work. So you get this little dialog bo box, just wait for it to go away. And then your Minecraft Mojang will pop up like normal, and Minecraft will pop. There we go. And then if you click your little mods tab here, you'll see that you have Computer Craft installed with one child mod, whatever that means. Um, I'm just going to go create a new world and show you guys that it's working. I'm going to go do creative, just break some blocks, and show you some items that aren't normally in Minecraft to prove to you that it's working and it won't crash or anything. So... We're going to go and load in, and now it is a new .minecraft, and a, a mod has been installed, so my sounds won't come in just yet, but they'll pop in within a couple of seconds, or a couple of minutes or two. Uh, it shouldn't take that long. Um, so I'm just going to open the inventory, go to the second page here, and here is the computer craft stuff. Holy crap. Um, so yeah, obviously, quite obviously, this isn't normally in Minecraft. I'll just place some blocks. Placing them, sounds popped in. Like I said they would. 
breaking and placing blocks is working correctly. So as you can see, um, everything's working like it should. So yeah, um, as usual, please rate, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. And leave a comment if you want me to do any other uh, mod tutorials like I said in the beginning of the video. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.